I just got back from my monthly Aldi haul for the month of June, and my total came to 307. We're gonna talk about some things. It's definitely about $50 higher than I typically like it to be, but I'm gonna walk you guys through it, show you guys everything I got. So I got some things I normally don't get stocked up on a lot of things. Tomorrow is my school age child's last day of school, so I'm also just stocking up for summer and snacking and lunches and all that stuff. So that's why my budget is a little bit higher, or my total at least was a little bit higher, but we're gonna go through. Me and my husband both discussed that we wanna try to eat more salads. Um, so until the garden is producing, I picked up some stuff. I did get this garden salad mix, which I normally never get because these last like a week, if that, like you can see that today is the first. It's good for the ninth. Uh, so I got two bags. This is what we're going to use. I'm going to prep a big salad probably today uh, or tomorrow, depending on how life gets today. And I'm going to put this in the fridge. We'll have a prepped salad that we can use for sides or just easy lunches and stuff. And we'll have that for the upcoming week. Tomatoes until the garden starts producing and I'm already seeing flowers on a lot of my tomato plants, so hopefully this will be the last time I have to buy tomatoes. Two bags of grapes, my kids love grapes. One of their favorite snacks are pretzels and grapes. We already have pretzels left over from last month, so lots of grapes happening this month. Also, my kids love it when I take some of these grapes and just put them in a Ziploc and freeze a small batch of them, and they eat them frozen as like a popsicle snack. They love that. It's a cauliflower because it was a really great price. We'll roast these, we might mash them, I don't know, but we are going to do some sort of cauliflower, obviously, because I got two of them. I got two things, for romaine hearts, for the same reason for the salad kits. These last forever in the fridge. I've had these last for three weeks for me, so I got two packages of these, and we'll also use these for wraps. And I'm going to meal prep a big thing of chicken salad, and I like to eat chicken salad in lettuce wraps. I got a stock of celery basically for the same reason for either pasta salads that we're going to be doing, tuna salads, chicken salads, lots of different things that we use the celery for. Aldi had these and they're here today, gone tomorrow section. It was 3.5 pounds. I think this was $9.99. I wish I would have gotten two of these because I'm, I don't know if this is going to be something that they're going to have all summer or not. But just a big box, obviously, 3.5 pounds of dino chicken nuggets. Awesome to have on hand for the summertime lunches. Just throw a couple of these in the air fryer. Um, maybe make a box of mac and cheese and a really easy lunch for the kids. So I did get four boxes of mac and cheese. I'm going to do these once a week for the kids. So one box a week. And we'll do that for them throughout the summertime. I got a thing of non bread. I made non pizzas last month for the kids for lunches they loved them so i still have one of those in my freezer that i got on sale uh, i was hoping to find some on sale this month they didn't have any which is okay um so i got just another one there's eight in here the kids love these because they're the perfect size for them um, my kids are six and under to make their own little mini pizza and they can put whatever they want on it and they think it's super fun and they love that so i also got two things of pickle spears for the kids my kids once again, one of their favorite summertime, summertime snacks is a pickle spear and like a cup of goldfish. I love that snack too, truth be heard. So two things of those and I'm hoping that we can do like one jar every two weeks. My garden did not produce enough uh, pickling cucumbers for me last year to make enough pickles, so we're out. Also got two things of sandwich pickles. I got two jars last month and they are gone. We actually didn't have them the last like week and a half of the month, so hopefully that'll last. I got four cans of our favorite tomato soup. These cans are also really big. They're two something. I think they're just under $3, but this is the best tomato soup I've ever had. My kids are really starting to come around to this soup. They like it. We do hot ham and cheese sandwiches for lunch or like grilled cheese sandwiches for lunch a ton. And having some of this on hand is awesome. My whole family of five can eat off of one can of this tomato soup because it's so big love this i did get two cans of uh chili with no beans i like these on hot dogs or french fries so we'll do like chili cheese fries chili cheese dogs just helps give some variety to like the grilling things that we're doing graham crackers for s'mores try to always keep those on hand 
I always let my kids pick snacks for the summertime and this was one of the snacks that my second daughter picked were these animal crackers so I let her get a box of those. They're more like cookies than crackers, honestly. Two cans of mild salsa. I use these in recipes, but mostly for like tacos. Nachos. Also, me and my daughter love to have tortilla chips and salsa. I got two two-pound bags of mozzarella cheese. We go through a ton of this, especially uh, now that it's going to be summertime. We do pizzas for lunch once a week in the summer for the kids. They love it. So lots of mozzarella cheese are going to be flying through here. Just some Swiss and American cheese, cheese slices for some grilled cheese. I got two of each, two Swiss, two American. I also put these on my husband's breakfast sandwiches. These are the cheese that he likes, so that's what I do. I got three things of cream cheese. I needed these for a couple recipes. Two 20 count flour tortillas. These are small like fajita tortillas. We use these for the kids for quesadillas. We also do roll ups in these with like a pickle, some lunch meat, a thing of cheese, and they'll walk around and eat it. They love it. It's one of their favorite lunches. I got four things of flour tortillas. I'm making breakfast burritos for my husband, so I'm gonna need two of these for those. And then the other two are just for dinners that we have planned. June is my birthday and my husband's birthday. And I thought, okay, I'm just gonna get some little cheesecakes for us to pull out of the freezer for both of our birthdays. So they never have turtle cheesecake. So, so it was just the stars aligned for me. That's both of our favorites. Okay. So I got these and I had some little helpers today okay. and I didn't realize until I was unpacking when I got home that there's also some strawberry cheesecake in here. <laughs> so somebody threw this in the cart with their little fingers, but that's okay. I got a thing of salmon. We've been doing salmon more and more frequently and we're all really liking it So I usually get one of their smaller fillets just because my family size doesn't need a really big one I always cut it in half and I'll get two different meals out of it both with leftovers typically depending on the size of the salmon I got two bags of pepperoni these go in my freezer right away and I pull them out as we need them We put these on like hot ham and cheese sandwiches loaded subs cold sandwiches obviously like pizza and strombolis and stuff. These are some of my favorite summer products that they have. They'll carry these cheddar broths year round. They're really, really good. We like them a lot. But usually in the summer, at least in my area, they'll carry these jalapeno and cheddar broths. These are really, really good. So I like to get a couple of these. I got two bags of hard salami because these are such awesome beach and park snacks. I'll throw in some salami in a cooler with some blocks of cheese or string cheese, some crackers, and we're good to go. So I love having these on hand. I throw these in the freezer and then just kind of pull them out as we need them. Two things of bologna. Once again, Aldi didn't have any lunch meat, so I'm going to have to use... I don't even think I have any in my freezer, to be honest, so we're just going to do bologna and then we'll do more like peanut butter and jellies and things like that. Guess what you guys, my Aldi finally had chicken. Probably um, for the first time all year they had chicken. This was the only chicken that they had. There were no limits on it. I took four, they were completely like fully stocked. So I got four things of boneless skinless chicken breasts. Ali will have my husband or I, most likely I, I'm going to be honest here, my husband's a busy man right now. Um, we're putting up a second garage and he's doing a lot of the work himself and then we're just paying somebody to do the stuff that we're, uh, he doesn't know how to do. So that's just how that's going. So I will probably grill up a couple of these for salads and just like easy lunches over the next couple of days and I'm really excited about that. Maybe I'll make a meal prep video on a couple of things like the pasta salad, the chicken salad, some grilled chicken, the um, salad. I got two bags of frozen blueberries. I still have, I think, a bag and a half of blueberries, so I didn't really need a ton. And then I got some tropical blend because I'm buying a jug of pineapple juice for a recipe that I need. And I figured I would just make some like tropical smoothies for the kids with the rest of the pineapple juice so it doesn't go to waste. Um, so that's what that blend is for. I got four bags of carrots this time. I'm just trying to lay off the carrots a little bit um, because other fruits and vegetables are starting to become a better price 
If you've been watching my hauls the last couple of months, we've been relying really heavily on these. I don't want my kids to start not liking carrots because I'm pushing them on them too hard. I got two bags of mini cucumbers. My kids love these. I'll prep these for them. They love it with lunches. Planted cucumbers in my garden and we had a really weird like week of weather. We had four days where it hovered just above freezing and then we hit a really hard heat wave and it got up to like 90 degrees and it scorched all of my cucumber plants and all my watermelon plants. I literally have one watermelon plant one cucumber plant that lasted. So my point is I'm gonna to try to replant some cucumber seeds, but if not, I'm probably gonna to have to keep buying these through the summer, which is unfortunate, but it just is what it is. I have four bags of Honeycrisp apples, and I feel like there's like three apples in every bag. They're so small. I think they're putting less and less apples in these bags. Um, and I know it goes off of poundage, so the amount of apples is going to differ, but the weight, it doesn't even feel like it's the two pounds that it's supposed to be. So I'm really hoping that we can go to an apple orchard here, obviously in the fall, and just stock up on a ton of apples, and I will uh, probably do a video on how I'm gonna store bulk apples and stuff, and we'll have apples all winter long, hopefully. So you can see I bought a lot of bananas. Um, I had two more bananas, both the kids already ate one that are home with me today. I'm trying to get some bananas in my freezer so that I can make some banana bread, banana muffins. My sister-in-law is gonna have a baby next month and um, I wanted to bring her some freezer meals and I mean, what kid doesn't like banana muffins for breakfast? So I was gonna try to make some of those, get some bananas in the freezer, but I don't know if any of these are gonna make it to the freezer, so we'll see what happens. 10 pound bag of potatoes. We do a lot of uh, baked potatoes for sides because we'll grill a lot and then I'll just throw some baked potatoes in the microwave and we'll eat them that way. That's one of our favorite ways we use potatoes. This was a snack that my two year old picked. Both of my kids already ate one while I was loading up the car. I got three things of kielbasa, I got a different kind this time. We are going to do some kebabs and I figured I'm gonna need two of these kielbasas to do kebabs and then uh, the other one is going to be for like a crock pot meal that I'm doing with kielbasa, potatoes, onions, uh, peppers, and things. It's going to be really good. Two things of applesauce. We go through a crud ton of applesauce. It's one of our favorite sides for breakfast, lunches. My kids eat it for snack. And then we bake a lot with it. One of our kids' favorite snacks are applesauce muffins. If I remember in this video, I'll link um, the recipe to these, those applesauce muffins down below. I found them on Pinterest. Two 24 count thing of hot dogs. Hot dogs, mac and cheese, man. Just regular hot dogs. Really easy lunches that my kids all love. Remember, my kids are little, they love these. Also for like those chili, um, the chili dogs and things like that. So lots of hot dogs throughout the month. I'll freeze those, pull them out as we need them and it'll be good to go. I tried to stock up on some pasta, so I got three boxes of rotoni. We like these for like homemade mac and cheese because it just, the sauce, the cheese sauce clings to these noodles really, really well, but this is also what we really like to do for pasta salads. Two things of elbow macaroni. I like to keep that in the pantry for different things, and then just two things of penne. Strawberries, they were $1.99 for the carton. I could have gotten more, honestly. We'll fly through these. These are, these are already gone. They're not even here. The very last thing got are some of these caramel cakes. Uh, we love these. So I got two things of caramel, two things of cheddar. My kids absolutely love these for snacks. And if we're going to the beach or something, I'll just grab a whole bag of these. We'll bring these, um, some of those little sausages and some crackers and cheese. Maybe one day this summer when we're going somewhere, I'll do a video where it's like pack my cooler with me and you guys can uh, see everything that I pack in my cooler for basically like a whole day gone at the beach or something. This is my complete Aldi haul for June. Like I said, my total came to 307. I did get some non-food items though that I'm gonna take off of that total, so I'll put my real total up on the screen here. Because my Aldi haul was a little bit higher than what I normally would have liked, that means I'm gonna have a little bit less to work with at Walmart. However, I already started to put my Walmart grocery pickup order together, and I noticed my total is also high there, so. It's just gonna be one of those months where things go over. It happens every once in a while, but usually once I have a month like this where I go over this month, that means next month, hopefully I won't need as many things to ride through next month. I have noticed we're running through a lot of household products and that's why my Walmart haul is 
going to be a little bit more expensive this month that's just the way it is i'm also out of like random things like laundry detergent things but this is basically the budget that i have left to work with at walmart if i were to stay in my 550 dollar budget Make sure you subscribe because tomorrow, the next video that you guys see is going to be my Walmart haul for the month of June. And then that's where I'll break down my entire total, what I spent for the entire month for my family of five, basically during summer break. All five of us will eat three meals a day out of our house for an entire month. And that will basically be the budget that I do that on. Thank you guys so much for watching and taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch one of my videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.